Yeah. Man, I'm getting really nervous for this drop lottery. Are you serious? You know, I think it's really duke It just proves the whole draft lottery is rigged at this point. It really does. Because the ESPN is talking about, like, oh, the Knicks are definitely going to get it. Like, like, don't you think that's a little, like, if they do really do get it, don't you think it's a little fishy? Bulls have a 12 point. Really? Lonzo Mourning, the first retired jersey by the Miami Heat? I didn't know that. Elliot Perry, big for 17. Yeah, if you look at all these names, two, only two of those names uh, actually panned out. We lost so Sendo, which is Kareem Abdul Jabbar, and the other one being. Oh my god. And of course it's freaking ESPN trying to milk as much I'm trying to look as much controversy from the players as possible by trying to ask certain questions and trying to get controversial answers from them. Possible, just so they can get as many clicks on it. Clicks on articles as much as possible, so, so people right can get right more rep, as much revenue as possible. Do they even have a YouTube channel? Wait, why is this? Why is my space so blue? Oh my god. Yeah, I need to clean this freaking wall. I wasn't to clean up in here just because I, really I was not really in the mood. It says the draft lawyer is at 8.30, so it should start like in a little bit. Oh crap! Come on. Come on. Oh crap, man. I'm so nervous. Hopefully they get the number one pick. Future Cavalier, everybody. Where's the in where's Adam Silver going to rig it? Give, give it to me. City ain't that great though. I love the teams though. Come on, Knicks. Come on, Cat. I really hope this team does not get it.
an absolute game changer. Zion Williamson is easily the most highly anticipated player to be drafted since LeBron James. And it's not just that the team that gets him could be setting off on the path to win a championship. It's the stuff around him, right? Him being drafted coincides with a huge elite free agent class this summer. Where Come on. Zion goes, it's expected to affect where they may want to go. It could affect potentially trades for Anthony Davis. You are talking about a whole well, we don't need Anthony Davis. We're tanking. And the match is going to get lit right here. It could be good for the Knicks. They managed to get Kyrie and Durant, but... It's just going to be so impactful. Yeah. Well, because I think he's uh, a change agent. Well, maybe. Uh, I don't players that come through the draft that alter the way the game is played. I don't know. We'll see. And after doing research on this, going back to the draft lottery when it started in 1985, yeah. I composited a quick list of the guys that I think really altered the way the game was played. Things that we've never seen done before. Patrick Ewing, obviously, he's in the room with his style in which he played. Shaquille O'Neal with his physical dominance. Tim Duncan. Re oh, they received the Dallas pick from outside. They're picking pick, pick Dallas if it's outside the top five. AI because of the culture. LeBron in 2003. And now I think Zion Williamson, that guy who can play positionless basketball, he will be in that category. And, and Zion Williamson may not be the best player we've ever seen, but we've never seen anybody like Zion Williamson on a basketball court. He, his athleticism and... Uh, his explosiveness is literally off the charts. I mean, he outjumped the vertical leap device when he got to Duke. And look at that block shot he had on DeAndre Hunter. He uh, outjumped the vertical lead such device. Such he, oh, my God. Really I can lie. That's actually pretty two. crazy. And he's excellent on the defensive end. He can guard multiple positions. He gets two and a half steals a game, takes it the other way. Uh, an excellent shot blocker, rim protector, and a guy that is relentless on the offensive glass. His explosion is truly unbelievable. His second jump is better than the first jump of a lot of great athletes. We've never seen anything like this guy on a basketball floor. He is truly jaw-dropping in his ability. And Rachel, the <laughs> Knicks. <laughs> I think we're embarrassing him. Do you think we're embarrassing him? Let's embarrass him a little more. You better get used to it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Rachel, the, the Knicks, there are a lot of trade packages they might like to put together this springtime to try to go get Anthony Davis from New Orleans. They're one of the two teams he has said Crap. he would resign with and trade it to. But I am so nervous, dude. That they have no intention of making is if they get that number one overall pick, Man. Zion Williamson is playing at Madison Square Garden. That this is how good everyone expects him to be. We don't want to waste another minute. The team representatives are taking their places on stage. We're going to take a quick commercial break while they get organized. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, commercial break. Oh, my God. That annoys me to no end. Y'all are making my anxiety even worse. I, don't, I really don't trust to have a silver man. I don't think anybody should really trust them when it comes to the lottery until they do the lottery in front of, in front of us. Like, just... Like, do the live broadcast of the lottery balls. Of the lottery, not just him pulling out the envelopes. I don't know. It's just kind of fishy. Like, I don't know. I think it's kind of hard to believe that both LeBron James and Derrick Rose could get drafted by their own teams. Did you just say yes to everything? I almost saw like Lou Wong said, oh, I'll get, I guarantee the Lakers are going to get like a top three pick. They got number two pick, which ended up being Lonzo Ball. And like before the dra draft lottery happened, Anthony Davis was spotted wearing a, wearing a New Orleans Hornets hat before he got drafted by the New Orleans Hornets. As a way of becoming your second to last. Dude, just get to the just get to the draft lottery.
Wow, Bo Bo is at 13. Good God. Kevin Porter. Huh. Does that make you guys hungry? Does that make you thirsty? Okay. Overrated. Overrated. Cheers, man. Just get to the friggin' lottery. I better not be waiting this long just just for the Cavaliers to be outside the top three. Like, like I'd be disgusted if they get this number four pick instead of a top three pick. Horace Grant, huh? Horace Grant. It's been forever since he played. Hey, the Brewers are winning. I'm not getting into this. I don't care. discourage tanking. They did that just so they can get, a, get away with breaking the draft lottery even more. It's like, well, why? There's still a chance. Chance. It can happen to any of these teams. Oh my god, my heart is beating fast. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna be so angry. Thank you very much, Rachel, and good luck, everyone. Pick number 14 will be made by the Boston Celtics. Okay. All right, this was originally Sacramento's pick, but it goes to Boston. If the pick had been number one overall, it would have been for the Philadelphia, but Celtics, you've got it. The 13th pick belongs to the Miami Heat. Wow, that's not very good, guys. Picking 12 will be 
I swear. The Charlotte Hornets. I know the Cavalier. The 11th pick in the draft will go to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Wow, that means the Los Angeles Lakers have moved up Kyle Kuzma's lucky team. Really? Game. And it gives the Lakers a chance to get an asset to go after Anthony Davis in a trade. Wow, this is going to get interesting. Pick number 10 will be made by the Atlanta Hawks. Oh, my God. So the pick goes to Atlanta due to the Luka Doncic Trey Young trade at last year's draft. Had the pick gone into the top four, it would have stayed with Dallas. But sorry, Cynthia, we got to give the pick up to Jamie Burt. The ninth pick goes to the Washington Wizards. Wow, okay. all right, this means the Grizzlies moved up. We have a double jump, Woj. And this is no way. My Cavaliers are going to get knocked out. Riyadh. We are going to see more action like this. A top four, are they? The eighth pick will be made by the Atlanta Hawks. Dude. That means that New Orleans has moved up. We have chaos here, people. Absolute chaos. Dave, you're supposed to look more excited, David Griffin. The seventh pick belongs to the Chicago Bulls. Okay. So we know where Chicago will be drafting now. <laughs> All right. That, that better be Cleveland Cavaliers Lakers, right there. Grizzlies and Pelicans have moved up. Two more to go. Wow. Pick number six goes to the Phoenix Sun. Oh my God! So Y'all scared the crap out of me. Of the top of the line. Okay. Number five, please be next. Please be next. Please number five be next. One more. And the fifth pick will be made by the Cleveland Cavaliers. Are you serious? No. No, 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 no. This draft lottery is rigged. They won't be getting there, but it does mean that the New York Knicks. Bro! Patrick Ewan, you're moving on to the next round. Perfect! You just got exposed. I think they're going to be happy, guys, when we see them. What do you think? 